I know that you like to write in free verse yeah. um, versus rhyme, and I'm curious uh, why you write the way that you do, and if you feel that uh, rhyme is restricting in any way. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I write in free verse because uh, I feel there are two reasons. One is that uh, when I try to write in rhyme, I felt my writing was becoming very stilted because I was thinking more about what words goes with you know, the previous sentence and the cadence. And uh, I felt that it seemed more rehearsed. Uh, in free verse, I think there's this uh, spontaneity, according to me. Um, but it could be because of the second reason, which is that I'm not uh, trained per se. So when I first started writing, it was something that moved me and I would just write something and then I would work on the words of it. So uh, I think I find uh, free verse really more interesting and most of my favorite authors write in free verse. So, um, so my next question, I, I noticed that in your, in your writing you um, often tie these events from your life or the place that you live, India, mm -hmm. into your work, even if you're writing about a place that's not India. And I'm curious if you could speak on that. Um, I find it really hard to uh, move away from my life in India or uh, my Indian identity. I tried, uh, but then again I felt that the real me is someone who is very aware of my roots and having lived in the US and having seen life there and also in India, I feel it's important as a poet to talk about uh, things that are going on and a uh, lot of events are happening in my country and in the US and I feel that uh, there are these cycles in life uh, because, uh, for instance, this whole political scene in Trump is something which I saw a preview of uh, when 9-11 happened. Uh, so, although I don't really uh, get engaged in debates about politics or religion, because I think these are very personal uh, uh, beliefs, but I do feel that if uh, something has moved me and there is a lot happening that is moving me, especially in India now, then I should write about it. Because I think writing is actually a way of changing the world. And one more quick question. Do you have any long-term goals or objectives with your writing or things you'd like to improve upon or kind of benchmarks as a writer that you'd like to reach? Um, Ideally, my long-term goal would be to write uh, a novel. That's how I started writing, but uh, poetry happened, tripped me up. <laughs> and uh, maybe because, uh, again, it's something which I respond to very intuitively from within. Uh, I have got uh, more publications in my poetry than uh, fiction, actually. Uh, so then I felt that uh, this is something that I need to focus on. So my long-term goal would be uh, also to write a book of poems. I mean, collate them together. And uh, I think when I applied for this residency, I had written about that, that uh, my main problem is that, uh, I feel time required to focus and put it all together. Um, so I think ideally I would like to be more focused and at least get one book of poems out by the end of this year. <laughs> but uh, I need to work harder, I feel, on that. Oh. Okay. Fourth of July. The last time we laughed was on this day. The fireworks illuminated the striped rugs and collapsible chairs as people clicked memories of happy families. Sandwiches and Coke cans congealed the grass of the court, and you placed an arm around my shoulder, squeezing your ownership. In the photo, I grinned the familiar gap-toothed smile, balancing the one on your face. Both our eyes reflect the fight 30 minutes ago. 
that culminated with me storming into the bathroom, you following, inserting your foot to stop being locked out, threatening to slap the childishness out of me. You joke with our friends about my clumsiness. She's always walking into doors and walls. We all laugh. It's easier to laugh at the unsolvable, I find. Thinking about your broken love makes me uncomfortable, writes one of those friends. They are gone, as are you. The window frames a gold-leafed village in Tuscany. The white petal grass stalks, freed from any name, carpet the oxidized silvery tips of olive trees, yet to bear fruit. The grapes are tiny, unripe mangoes, lining the slippery pebbled grey paths that shield terracotta madonnas at each corner. It is that day again today, interval by many years. But I'm not afraid anymore. The olives here taste bitter, but produce good oil, ominizing my future as I answer, Uno, and travel home.